Hello everyone who is following AskBop Entertainment Channel. After we made videos about movies, about scientific phenomena. Today, we will make a video of one of the most mysterious women in Mexican history. Malinali, also known as Malinson, Dona Marina, and, most commonly as Malinche. She was a native Mexican woman who was given slavery to the conqueror Hernan Cortez in 1519. Malinche soon demonstrated very helpful herself to Cortez, as she was able to help him translate Nahuatl, the language of the mighty Aztec Empire. Malinche is an invaluable asset to Cortez, as she not only translates, but also helps him understand local culture and politics. Many modern Mexicans consider Malinche a great traitor, who betrayed his native culture to bloodthirsty Spanish invaders. La Malinche is believed to have been born around the 1500s in the town of Peinala, to a noble Aztec family. These are the years when the Aztecs empire of the Aztecs in Mexico was extremely powerful. From an early age Malinche received an education far different from the girls in that society. Her father gave her the privilege of freedom to study and do things as she pleased. However, when Malinche was overwhelmed by the peaceful, happy childhood years, her father suddenly passed away, and this traumatic event officially changed her life. After his father's death, Malinche's mother remarried and gave birth to a son. Sadly, Malinche was no longer welcome in the house where her new brother was born. The stepfather, fearing that her existence would threaten his son's inheritance, forced his wife to abandon his stepchild. So under the pressure of her husband's family, Malinche's mother was forced to abandon her own daughter. She sold Malinche as a slave to a Mayan businessman, and announced to the neighbors that her daughter was dead. Beginning in the 11th century, Spanish colonialists began to expand their power by conquering large neighboring lands. One of the famous commanders of the Spanish colonialism at that time was Hernan Cortes a minor aristocrat born in 1485. In 1519, Hernan Cortes led the third Spanish expeditionary force. A battle with the Mayans at Tabasco. And as a form of tribute to the victors, 20 Mayan slaves were paid tribute to General Cortes's expeditionary army. Malinche was one of those 20 slaves. La Malinche was given to Captain Alonso Hernandez Porto Carrero. She was described by conqueror Bernal Diaz del Castillo as beautiful, attractive and tough. With her beautiful appearance and ability to understand both Aztec and Mayan languages, the slave girl Malinche attracted the shogun's attention. In particular during that period Nahuatl, the language of the Aztecs of central Mexico from the 7th century was used very popularly, and when conducting the conquests of Central American lands. General Hernan Cortes encountered difficulties. Not a small towel with this language barrier. Knowing the Aztec slaves' mastery of both Nahuatl and Mayan, the shogun gradually came to see her as an interpreter for negotiations with the natives. Initially, when Malinche did not know Spanish, translation from Nahuatl into Spanish also needed an interpreter. It was the Spanish priest named Jernamo de Aguilar in General Cortez's entourage. This priest was imprisoned by the Maya for many years and learned their language. During negotiations with representatives of the Aztecs, Malinche would translate into Mayan, and the priest would translate into Spanish for the shogun. After a while, Malinche learned Spanish and became a direct interpreter for General Cortesto, so Aguilar is not required. Although she is remembered as an interpreter, Malinche was much more important to the Cortes expedition than that. The Aztecs dominated a complex system in which they ruled through fear, war, alliances, and religion. The mighty empire dominated dozens of vassal states from the Atlantic to the Pacific. Malinche was able to explain not only what she heard, but also the complex situations in which foreigners find themselves immersed. The ability to communicate with fierce Tlaxcalans led to an important alliance for the Spaniards. She constantly saves Cortes and his men from Aztec attacks by gathering information from the local people. In one case, La Malinche befriended an old woman, 
who told her of a plot devised by King Aztec Moctezuma II to invade the Spanish. She can tell Cortez when she thinks the people she's talking to are lying and knows Spanish well enough to always ask for gold wherever they go. Cortez knows her importance, appointing her best soldiers to protect her as they retreat from Tenochtitlan during the night. In addition to becoming an interpreter for the Spanish army, with the new name Dona Marina, Malinche also became the mistress of General Hernan Cortez. In 1521, Cortez completely conquered Tenochtitlan, and he needed Malinche more than ever to help him govern his new empire. Around 1523 she gave birth to a son Cortez named Don Martin Cortes. Their child was one of the first representatives of mixed blood between Europeans and Native Americans. Eventually Martin was legalized by a papal decree. She accompanied Cortez on his catastrophic expedition to Honduras in 1524. Around this time, Cortez encouraged her to marry Juan Jaramillo, one of his captains. She finally gave birth to Jaramillo with a child. During an expedition to Honduras, they passed through Malinche's hometown, and she met and forgave her mother and half-brother. Cortez gave her some prime land in and around Mexico City to reward her for her loyal service. It is estimated that she died in 1529, after giving birth to second child Maria Jaramillo, the daughter of her later husband. Mexican history tells many different stories about La Malinche, and there are many different opinions about the importance and intentions of this woman. Some stories claim that she is a traitor to native Mexicans, even claiming that she is a wicked, wicked person. Many people suspected that Malinche had a personal feud with the Aztecs, so he actively helped Hernan Cortez destroy his own tribe. Perhaps that feud stems from her feeling betrayed by her homeland people and suffering a bitter slavery for a long time. Nowadays, people are more inclined to defend Malinche, claiming that she is not a traitor to the country, a traitor to the nation. They point out that Malinche is a slave woman freed to invaders, she certainly does not owe her indigenous culture any loyalty. By helping topple the brutal Aztec rulers and soothe the wrath of Hernan Cortez. If it weren't for her comfort, the Aztecs would most likely be destroyed, and the people of this place would suffer even more terrible things. With such analysis, many praised Malinche as the savior of the Mexican people. For some people to simply assume that Malinche is a woman who is devoted to love, she does her heart to follow and protect Shogun Hernan Cortez who loves her and saves her from slavery. While she certainly played an important role in the fall of the Aztecs, as an indigenous slave trapped between two cultures of war, she could have had no other choice. La Malinche's stories are much more than that, at least according to some Mexican feminist writers, who saw her as a symbol of human strength, duality, and complexity. Mexican writer Octavio Paz has described La Malinche as both a victim and a traitor, writing. It is true that she gave herself voluntarily to the conquistador, but he forgot her as soon as her usefulness was over. Dona Marina becomes a figure representing the Indian women who were fascinated, violated, or seduced by the Spaniards. And as a small boy will not forgive his mother if she abandons him to search for his father, the Mexican people have not forgiven La Malinche for her betrayal. Meanwhile, author Maria Rana most skillfully described La Malinche's situation in her book Silver, Sword and Stone, Three Crucibles in the Latin American Story, as she wrote, she will be the avatar of Cortez, strategy advisor, and mother of his first child, in other words, a slave with extraordinary strength. Thank you for watching our video. If you want our channel to make videos of any character or movie, please leave a comment below for us. If you like the video, please like the video to support us. If this is your first time visit us, please subscribe to Ask Bop Entertainment to discover more interesting videos. See you again.